That's a menacing storm, though, with a tower that went up to what we found to be near 60,000 feet. If we did a scan through the cell itself and then looked at that and then yeah. tilted up and then tried to look at it a different perspective, you I'm could see. Up as well over are you there. over there? Yeah. I'm trying to get this. Mine is doing the same thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, you can zoom out a little Let's bit and see. see this a little bit better. And tilt up maybe. No, that's too much of a tilt up. Not a good time to be experimenting. There it is. You can see a little bit of the hail core. So these two cores are what maintains the storm. And those are the updrafts. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Now, what are we? I don't, uh, 30,000 feet. We're topping out at 30,000 feet to 20,000 feet for that particular core. So you have that going right now and r rising air. So this is your, one of your hail shafts. It could be a, an intense band of rain. We're not looking at anything that would be rotating, though. These are shafts of precipitation or updrafts that we know to be existing. But what we know from the radar is it's hitting into this and seeing the winds, and it is seeing that mesocyclone. You see the rotation around this core and this core. Again, this is right above uh, Auburn, New Hampshire, to get your bearings here. It's not over Loudoun or anything like that. And uh, this cell has the tornado warning, too. So I just wanted to show you what we see sometimes as meteorologists. And sometimes it's kind of cool to look at that and see what we're going through here.